Dear viewers, dear tennis fans, today with us is one famous Croatian tennis player, Ivan Ljubicic, who today has a bit different role. He is ambassador of PBZ Zagreb Indoors Tournament. Hi, Ivan. Hello. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel today like an ambassador? It's a bit different role than before when you used to play and uh, winning here. Well, uh, obviously as a, as a f let's say, uh, former player, not not okay. a player anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, to be part of this this great event, it's uh, it's a great feeling because I, I played the first first time when it when it happened in 2006. Obviously, as a winner, as a with a lot of pressure. I remember it was it was huge pressure on me. I was, if I don't remember correctly, I was back then. I was ranked number five in the world. It was it was really expected for me to win it. So I managed to 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 go all the way, beating on the way Andy Murray and. Uh, and Novak Djokovic, which of course back then they were young and promising stars, but still wasn't easy. And, um, and now to be actually part of organization uh, committee, let's say it go that way, of course, as an ambassador of the tournament, it's, it's an honor for me to still be part of, of tennis tournament, of tennis event. And hopefully I can help the tournament to be better because uh, all the, of course, Croatian players, they recognize this as something unmissable, but also the, the foreigners, players, coming from, from uh, around the world who once played in Zagreb, they, they keep coming back, which means great for, yeah. for the event, which means that it's, it was something that they, they felt like it was great for them. And of course, the first tournament of, of indoor season in Europe is a great opportunity for the players at the beginning of the season to gain valuable points for the Emirates ATP World Ranking. Uh, yeah, 2006 you won the tournament and it was the best year of your career. Uh, how much did uh, PBZ Zagreb Indoors actually help you in your career that year back then? Oh, it was definitely a huge lift. Uh, I was, I was uh, as you said, on my way up. Uh, I was gaining points basically week after week. And, and after I break through this winning the, for the first time and the only time the tournament in my home, home country was... Uh, was a great relief, let's say that way, and, uh, and and after that I really kept playing great tennis and, and managed to, to, to go all the way to number three in the rankings a couple months after that. So uh, I really remember it as, as something hugely positive and, and, and uh, uh, it's a special feeling. When you win at home, it's, it's, it's unique, so I will always remember it, of course. Playing at home in front of your crowd, you know, your fans, is it more difficult, you know, more demanding than when you are playing on some world tournaments? Well, it creates, it creates a pressure. It creates a different uh, feeling when you walk on a court. But uh, throughout my career, I managed to get to, to, to let's say, um, to put that pressure in a positive direction. Uh, in, in every, basically, every, every other sport, uh, playing at home, it's an advantage, but for some reason in tennis, sound um, looks like it's a pressure. It's a negative thing, and and with some, with experience, with years, I managed to get the crowd on my side. I managed to, well, it was always on my side, but to get it as as a positive feeling, to see it as something positive, as something something good, and and uh, lately, let's say second half of my career, I, it, for me it was a positive feeling. It was it was something that uh, that I liked, that I that I that I that I couldn't wait to play in front of the home crowd. And uh, and to use it in my in my advantage and uh, it it was it was really really nice last last four or five years of my career I, I couldn't wait to play uh, in front of a home crowd. This year we have some really good and strong names here at PBZ Zagreb Indoors. In your opinion, who could win the tournament? Well, they they are great great players as you just said. Uh, a lot of former winners: Marin Cilic, Ivan Dodig, Marcos Bagdatis, Mikhail Yuzhny. They are all coming back. Uh, they like to play here, so. Only one will be the winner. All other 31 players in the main draw will will go home as a loser. So uh, it's going to be interesting, definitely. Uh, in in Pebis uh, Zagreb has historic historically was good for Croatian players, uh, very successful. So uh, as a Croatian, of course, I hope that it's going to be that way, uh, even even in 2013. But we'll see. It's not going to be easy. Bagdadis is actually now half Croatian. He yeah. could get better support than previous years. Yes, of course. We know he's married and he has a kid. With uh, former Croatian player Karolina Sprem, is, it, is she a former player? I'm not sure if she she has announced the retirement. But anyway, he's he's seen as as half Croatian and <laughs> he's very charismatic and, and great great person. So I'm sure that he's going to have a crowd on his side, even though he's he's not Croatian. Uh, having this tournament after so many years in Zagreb, what do you think? How important is this for Croatian tennis? 
It's it's important, very important for Croatian tennis, for uh, for city of Zagreb, for Croatia as a country. I think to, as a to promote uh, uh, Zagreb and Croatia, and and to as a, as a lift to the young players, especially. I think it's 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 invaluable experience, and uh, you know it, it, we have to be thankful to the PBZ, who is the main sponsor of the tournament, and city of Zagreb, who are. A huge part of this event, who are really standing behind this event even in these, these difficult times, and I'm sure that all the Croatian players uh, appreciate that, and, and uh, they, they look they're looking forward to to playing Zagreb.